Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Designer Dave, and I have a secret. I've been working with a very special game for over a year now, and you probably already know what it is. But I'll tell you, it's Engines of Fury. The team is working their asses off to get you the most refined, most enjoyable gameplay you will ever find in Web3, but there's another secret. This game is free to play. That's right, it's a work in progress. I'm going to give you a little tour, a look inside. We're going to put gameplay first. Mm. Here we are in your base of operations. This is where a lot of the quest stuff will happen, where you'll be doing uh, crafting and all sorts of other fun stuff. Um, Right now, the primary thing we've got uh, is the comms. And we can go straight into the gameplay, but we're not gonna. First, I'm gonna show you around the facility. You can uh, edit your skill tree here. Here you can see I've got a couple of abilities already selected, but uh, I wanna show you... Oh, well, rapid fire is great. Ice wall, I think the Tesla coil is important. And then we've got the lava ball, I think is fine. Though sludge is, uh, well, 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 I'll figure it out uh, later. And we have uh, some things that are out of service now, but the ammo bench, where you'll be able to uh, create ammo, create stuff, mod bench for modifications of your weapons, and a lot of other surprises that we'll get to later. But in the meantime, let's go straight into gameplay. Uh, right now we're showing, we'll be showing you the desert map, we're calling Drifter's Point. Uh, and uh, this will give you a taste of what the gameplay will be like. So generally speaking, you have a couple of strategies that you can work, uh, work with uh, when exploring. Um, my favorite strategy is shoot anything that moves. <laughs> which is generally the best way to go. Uh, here you can see this tentacle monster, which is going to try and pop out at me. Yeah, I'm going to run this way. Now we've got two problems. I just used my rapid fire ability. And now we're getting surrounded, so we're in trouble. I've missed with my Q, as you can tell. Uh, just because you help work on something doesn't mean you're good at it. Uh, so the E, the electric shock, uh, stuns them, which is great. You'll do a lot of kiting. We're still working on the AI in terms of how they react to things and when they attack you, but. You get the basic idea here. Obviously, you want to do a lot of strafing around enemies, or you need to end up low on health like me, and healing is pretty rare in the game. Uh, there, is a there is a healing ability that we're testing. I didn't need it because I thought it was constant. Clearly, I'm getting the score. Sure, I'm <laughs> good. We'll see. We'll see. Um, there's a container there, but I just want to make sure I don't get aggroed on while I'm face deep in loot. Uh, obviously, this is a work in progress. We'll, we'll come back to that. Uh, I think in this case, we're going to switch to the rocket launcher to do some AoE damage. That helps a lot. Rocket launcher obviously fires a lot slower but it does a significant amount of damage. And it's uh, useful in a lot of situations. So let's see if I can even get to the big boss fight, which is, there he is. He seems like one shot me, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he's got some AOE stuff. Uh, I'm gonna drag him out of here. Maybe I can show you all those abilities before I get ended. Okay, we've got him outside. I'm gonna run him around as much as I can. He's 
stun. Hit the Q for once in my life. And dodge. Can we dodge? Oh, we could not dodge. Alright. You died. At this point, you just have to accept death. But, <clears throat> overall, uh, this is just a taste of what's coming. Uh, for now, this is a, a demonstration of a level, and not procedurally generated, but we are... we do have procedural generation working. Cooperative play, of course, will be a big component of the game. Working together to defeat a huge boss monster is obviously going to be much more satisfying than doing it by yourself. Um, we're still working out exactly how loot is shared or how that's going to work, uh, but this is fun, so <laughs> that's what's important right now. Now, in future iterations, we're also working on how many hit points should a boss monster have uh, when you're fighting it together or alone. <laughs> so that's going to change in the future. Uh, we're really working on gameplay adjustments to make sure that whatever you encounter in your, your playthrough of the game, it's going to be a good experience for, for whatever the circumstances. But we're also uh, working on when exactly you can potentially betray your friends, uh, quote unquote friends, or other people that you meet along the way, as there is the possibility of running into random players when you're exploring and uh, how you deal with each other is up to you together, you can turn on each other, it's going to be an interesting psychological experiment in seeing what people do with each other. You've seen we've got some gameplay. We've got a lot of solid planning going into the game. We're making sure the design is good before we unleash it on the public. The most important aspects of this is that all you need to get into this game are your socials. Just sign in with your email. You don't have to get involved in the NFT side of things at all. In the future, when you decide you're going to leave the game, you can turn your character and your best items into NFTs at that point. And then if you want to put it on the market, it's entirely up to you. We're not forcing anything on anyone. You don't have to be involved in crypto if you don't want to be. For the purposes of selling things in the game, then you want to get into the Fury token and learn about that kind of stuff. We are committed to having high quality free-to-play gameplay that anyone can get into. That's when you bring your friends into it and you play co-op and you work together to defeat monsters and take things down. You want to do PvP? We've got that too. You never know when you might encounter someone else out in the wild. If they decide that you look like a tasty treat, perhaps they'll take you out before they let you get out of the mission. There's going to be quests. There's a big epic storyline that I'm working on with the team. We're going to have everything that you would expect from a high quality game. I'm not going to say AAA because I don't think that means anything anymore, but <laughs> we are going to listen to the community. We're going to provide the things that you want to see in a game. I think you'll be happy with the end result. That's uh, the first look at Engines of Fury. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Follow us on all the socials. We'll chat in Discord. I'll be around. I'm very active in the community. If you have any questions, just let me know. I am designed. Dave. If I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.